Hey there, Eli again coming at you from OSA Coventry here to showcase off one of these coolest fish that we've had in for a while. This guy right here is a leaf scorpion fish. He's a member of the scorpion fish family, which refers to the venom that this fish possesses. So this is one of the most dangerous fish to keep in an aquarium for obvious reasons of it being venomous. These guys are really cool. However, it's definitely important to treat this guy with a lot of respect as this is kind of a difficult fish to keep in an aquarium for the reason of it being venomous. So these guys in the wild, they mimic a leaf and they blend into the rock work very well. So they kind of naturally avoid predation in this sort of manner. However, they do have that added defense mechanism of being venomous and all of the spines on their fins do contain this venom so that if a fish was to uh, try to eat them, they are capable of delivering a painful and even fatal sting to the fish that would try to eat them. For this reason, this fish is not suited for the beginner hobbyist. It's definitely something that is to be treated with respect and treated with caution in the aquarium. They don't get very large usually three to four inches is the full size for this leaf scorpion fish here and they're just a very interesting fish to watch in the aquarium their color is actually a trait that is kind of plastic and something that they can kind of change to blend into their environment so this guy as much as he is very active right here because he doesn't have many tank mates if he was desiring to blend in he basically would sit on top of one of these rocks and they just kind of sway really slowly in the current and that allows them to basically camouflage and mimic either a small piece of coral or a leaf that they are named after so really interesting fish these guys are also quite predatory they are micro predators so as they are disguising themselves on the rock work they basically sit and wait for smaller fish or smaller crustaceans to swim by and uh, ambush these prey. So usually they spend their time waiting for something small to swim by, and then in one large gulp will swallow the whole thing. They can take down quite large prey in comparison to their body size with fish uh, about half their length uh, being possible uh, prey items on the menu for them. So for this reason, it's definitely important to try to uh, pair them with appropriate fish. These can be housed with other fish, but generally anything too small should be avoided. I would avoid anything that might try to snack on this guy for the reason of it being venomous. On a similar note, the leaf scorpion fish will try to eat invertebrates as well. Things such as shrimps, possibly hermit crabs are definitely on the menu for this guy. So it's something to be careful of when you add one to your aquarium. They can be quite picky eaters, and generally, especially when they first come in, they're only gonna be eating uh, live food, so things such as small mollies and guppies are generally a good thing to get them to start feeding. Ghost shrimp are also a good option. Some of these things that'll kind of sit in front of them and allow them to inspect it before eating. However, after spending some time in the tank, they will generally take to being tong fed and sometimes will even eat frozen food such as krill and things such as that. Generally, these guys should be fed at least two to three times a week with a larger specimen daily is best um, and it'll keep them from trying to prey upon other fish in the tank. With this being a smaller species and with their requirement of kind of having to be target fed and especially with live specimen, they do lend themselves towards being kept in a smaller tank. Generally something around 30 gallons would be pretty appropriate for this fish. However, they can be housed in larger aquariums as well. It's just very important when you're putting your hands in the tank to make sure you know where this guy is before you, before you stick your hands in as uh, you run the risk of being stung if you accidentally brush against them and they do camouflage quite well. But overall, a really interesting fish, a really cool fish and a personable fish to add to your aquarium. Super unique, something you don't see very often. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let us know in the comment section below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos and keep on reefing.